Well, hello, hello, hello. We are continuing the most popular Bible reads, or the favorite Bible reads in the Christian community. Last week was the crucifixion. This week is the resurrection found in Matthew 28. And this is one of the most popular interpretations. It reads, Now after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning, and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and indeed he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples' word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them, saying, Rejoice! So they came and held him by the feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. Now while they were going, behold, some of a guard came into the city and reported to the chief priest all the things that had happened. When they had assembled with the elders and consulted together, they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, saying, Tell them his disciples came at night and stole him away while we slept. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will appease him and make you secure. So they took the money and did as they were instructed. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, to the mountain which Jesus had appointed for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him. Some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Look, there's a couple things that we should probably talk about. These soldiers, it has been such a key thing, as we know in Israel, they still don't believe. Messianic Jews do, but not all do. It is said that the Jews at the time had sent all types of missionary people in all directions to spread this false report. And it still has been for quite some time. See, in verse 15, they took the money and did as they were told. And this report has been among the Jews until this day. This matter was rehearsed over and over again by the Sahadin until all had the same story. Now remember, Jesus had told them to an appointed place, but there was no evidence as to exactly where this mountain was. The word appointed specifies that this was a designated meeting which would have ensured a definite place. It doesn't matter where it was at. He said, go therefore and teach all nations. Preach to all nations. The word is what teach is referring to. The proclamation of truth. 
to be baptized, to teaching them, to give them instructions, the whole gospel for the whole man. May God bless you all and keep your heads up.